Welcome to Give Mythical More. I know where it's gonna land, Link. Oh. Ungifticality! <laughs> yeah, feeling generous today. We're donating $1,000 to the Animal Welfare Institute to aid in their mission to improve the treatment of animals everywhere. Please join us in giving at awionline.org. I love animals. You know, the thing about us as animals is that we're in a position to help other animals. You know, some other animals are helpful. Like that whale video with like the whale helping the from diver the from, like, from like weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like man. whales help people. I think whales have a wealth of knowledge. They have a, a wealth of knowledge. A wealth. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge. Um, you know what? Speaking of wealth of knowledge, <laughs> not really a great transition. I got fried Pepto Bismol, and you've got a shirt. This is the Blood Oath shirt. Now, this is this signifies that moment that we made a decision to create together back in the '90s, and uh, now we've commemorated that on this T-shirt. Uh, it's in a T like this and a long sleeve, and the long you, sleeve version goes down the all arms. the way to the wrist. If you're in the society, you got access to it a day early, but uh, if not, you can get yours now before they sell out. Limited quants. Mythical.store. Okay. Uh, so I, I earned this. But first, we have to, this is a s'more. This is a society determined more. If you're a member of the society, you can vote on what we're gonna do every once in a while and go mythical more. Here are the options. Rhett and Link do the whole episode in vibrating massage chairs or wear pants as shirts, or must hold the talking stick in order to talk. But the winner with 42.04% is massage chairs. So we just, we've, oh. we've strapped massage surfaces to our existing chairs. And now, oh, there's a heat setting too. You got it on? It seems like you've already turned it on. Yeah. Now there's two levels. I'm, oh, I went straight to level two. Level one? Why don't mess uh, with level one? Uh, level two? Oh, uh, yeah. California knows how to party. California hey, 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 knows hey, hey, how hey. to party. Oh, gosh, we're going to get claimed. That sounds nothing like it. Arizona. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Thank you, Mythical Society members, for choosing something that uh, makes me more comfortable. I think they're kind of taking pity on us after like having to do stuff that makes us right. more uncomfortable. Yeah, I kind of like having just a slight vibration going in my voice at all times anyway. Makes I, me feel like I'm really reverberating. I feel like this is going to loosen the phlegm that has been draining from oh. my nasal region into oh. my stomach and making me feel nauseous Speaking for the of best. That, who knows how long. Speaking of nauseous, why don't you enjoy your deep fried uh, Pepto Bismol as Josh brings in something that's way better than that. That should have been for the winner. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ow. So, can Ow. you turn the heat on and the? Oh, I'm sure you can heat and, and vibrate at the same time. I mean, this is America, man. Hello, Josh. Hey, Good yes. gosh. <laughs> this, you, this is that's so large. Thank you. Um, do you think that in the s'more it was implied that like if an additional crew member joins that they also get to sit on a massage chair? No. Okay, no. I was just checking um, just to make sure, but that's you know good what? to know Any, that it wasn't. Anytime you want to get in my chair, as long as I'm not in it, mm. you can get in my chair. Thank you. I'm you know what? That. If you let me mercil mercilessly wield that knife, I'll let you sit in my chair. I like when you have a knife in your hands. I like the wild card factor. You know, I live on the edge. I don't want you failed the I don't test. Want, I don't want him touching this. All right, so this also is not the funnel cake cheeseburger from the Texas State they Fair. They really want that there. That's the thing. <laughs> you see Morgan. Morgan over there? You see, you're driving him nuts. You're driving him uh, wild in like a, in like a, in a frustrating, not sexual way. Not a sexual way. Okay, I'm really glad that you disclosed that because that's immediately where I went. Because um, there's always been that sort of, you know, okay. tension. We had tension between me and Morgan. So, I'm so but it's mad. good to know where Morgan stands on that. Thank you. I have to turn my freaking <laughs> massage off because it makes me feel like I have to cough. And I don't want to give you what I got. Thank you. I'm turning that, my, I want to take what you have. I'm turning That's my great. heat off. The heat's off, by the way. So, the Texas State Fair does have a funnel cake cheeseburger. I didn't make that one. I made my original recipe for it because I invented this on my now defunct blog, culinarybrodown.com. And I posted. You just promote your. your um, my your defunct blog, blog that goes to literally nowhere? Yes, That's I sure cool. did. That's cool. That's cool. And. Then they, they took the idea and they then did it. Then I think a. Um, a, uh, what do they call it, a minor league like farm team, uh, baseball team, took that idea, and then they made it. 
But you can trace this back. Like, I post the Instagram picture July of 2014. There are no records of the funnel cake cheeseburger existing before then. And then a team called the Rattlers started making it at their stadium. All and the then Rattlers. It started popping up at state fairs, but I invented it. This is the original recipe. It's got a strawberry rhubarb ketchup on it oh, with gosh. smoked paprika powdered sugar and some balsamic dressed arugula and candied bacon. Look at that, man. That looks amazing. Now, I'm trying to figure out. I'm glad I'm vibrating right before now. You, before you taste that, I want this to be the last thing I taste, so could you guys wait for me to eat this first? I'll wait. I don't want to eat this second. As long as it doesn't take you that long. But it is Pepto-Bismol. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was... I'm not going to do that. That's too much. Congratulations on your win, Link. (laughs) Oh, it's supposed to come with ranch. Forgot it. It'll turn your poop black. It's going to make me feel better. What's cold? Look happy. You won, man. I'm a winner. You won by like a good margin, like probably the largest margin in many, many moons that we, when we played this game. Pepto-Bismol is not a bad thing when used in its proper context. I, You know what? I tried to explain this to my son the other day as I was trying to get him to, to eat some Pepto-Bismol, just a little tablet. He's like, Dad, it's, it tastes horrible. I was like, no, it tastes good, son. Just just really, really taste it. Don't Just don't think medicine, think candy. Now he eats it on a regular basis. Mm. Teaching your kids to eat medicine like candy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it, but chose to not. I don't want to <laughs> tell him how to parent. You know. Here we go. Right. Oh wow, you got to get a oh. big mouth for this thing. What? And it's very. The bun is very crunchy. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. So did this make its way into other fairs? It did. Um, do they do the strawberry part as well? No. But it was the funnel cake buns. That was what was proprietary to me. But they actually put queso on it in the Texas State Fair. So they're changing up a little bit. But mm. I maintain that I am the sole inventor of this. And so, I will go to the grave that way. Do you want to sue? Yeah. All right. Can I borrow our lawyers? <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. it, what's in the funnel cake? Uh, so it's actually a savory funnel cake. So there's like some Creole seasoning in there. Mm-hmm. Some good old Tony Shasheries. Uh, and then on top is smoked Tony paprika. What? Tony Shashery. You guys don't know Tony Shashery? Mm-mm. He's a contemporary of Zataran. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zataran. Yeah, yeah. I know Zataran. But I it's think... still a, it's still a little sweet too, which is mm-hmm. nice. I've, I've never eaten while vibrating before, but I think I'm only going to do it now. No, yeah. I'm incredibly jealous. I'm going to tell my wife that I need to be vibrating when she feeds me. Rhett developed a. Um... I'm glad you have that open line of communication with her that you can do that. Rhett developed a theory. In high school, oh, that yeah. um, I, that was actually middle school, and I got was it? I got at least forty percent of the cafeteria to to join in on this. I said, if you shake your food, it excites the molecules and actually increases the taste. Half of the cafeteria was like sitting there going, "What's happened to the children?" <laughs> They're eating medicine like candy. I mean, I knew you were joking, but I went along with it because it, I got a kick out of everybody shaking their food. And then, depending on the person's personality, they would be like, "It's better." I think it is better. Like a placebo, it's like a placebo that's, shake. That's how I figured out the ones that I could most easily manipulate. What were you doing, starting a cult in middle school? Yeah, I did a lot of things. Thank you. That's how you got girlfriends, huh? We're commemorating our creative promise to each other with the Blood Oath Tea and Long Sleeve at Mythical.com.